Do you love animals? Chances are you have some animal fabric you'd like to use. Or maybe you want to do a pet portrait of your favorite pet. Here are six different ways you can make an animal themed project ranked from easiest to hardest. So stick with me and I'll show you how to do it. Hi, I'm Karen Brown of Just Get It Done Quilts. I give you tips, tricks, and strategies to help you make the quilt that you want to make. And if you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. There comes a time in every quilter's life where they have to make an animal themed quilt. Perhaps it's because you saw a cute animal print for a baby blanket, or you have a friend or family member obsessed with a certain animal, or you want to memorialize a family pet in a pet portrait. Or maybe you saw some quirky animal prints from your favorite designer and you want to know how to use them. Whatever the case may be, it can be hard to figure out the right project for your skill level. Here are six different ways that you can quilt animals ranked from easiest to hardest. So you can decide what method works best for you. First, before you even start, realize that you don't need to make a full size quilt for any of these blocks or techniques. You can make them fast and easy by turning them into a pillow or by inserting them into a picture frame. And I have a video on both and I'll link them in the notes below. There are many large scale prints that can be used without cutting. This fabric here I think was meant for curtains. I make a quilt sandwich with the yardage as is, do some big loopy quilting and bind it. It's a fast and easy baby quilt with no piecing. This will also work with more mature themed fabrics and remember to consider other types of projects. It doesn't always need to be made into a quilt. For more lifelike animals, you don't need to search out a special print. Just get a photo and get it digitally printed on fabric. There are many online print shops that can do this, but the big one is Spoonflower. The process is pretty easy if you have a high resolution photo of your pet. You upload your photo, adjust the size of your print, choose your pattern repeat, choose the type of fabric and how much you want. Then fill in your info and you're done. Just be sure to give yourself enough lead time before the project needs to be done. Again, you can make a quilt sandwich with the yardage, but this can make an excellent pillow, either square or in the shape of the pet. If you are a beginner, it's best to stick to simple. Find a fabric with the desired animal in the desired size. Take a piece of flexi fuse or steam a seam and cut a piece large enough to cover your shape. Remove the back paper, then iron over your shape. Using your sharp scissors, cut your shape out. Then remove the back paper. There will be a thin film of glue. Center your animal on your block background, then press with a hot iron. Then sew around the outside of your shape. For a rougher edge, cut out your applique paper a quarter of an inch smaller than your shape, then fuse it to your fabric. The more times you sew around the perimeter, the more texture you make. Now this is an easy entry level method, but it also can be elevated to amazing levels. Art East Quilting Company teaches this method to make detailed portraits of those furry friends nearest and dearest to us. I had him on Karen's Quilt Circle last week and I will leave a link to that interview in the notes below. But Sharon Brinkley also does applique animals and Laura Heine uses an advanced method in her animal collages. And if you would like me to do a video specifically on raw edge applique, please leave a link in the comments below. Animal print fabrics have been delighting quilters for years. They come in all shapes and sizes and cover everything from our favorite domestic animals to the untamed and the mythical. Some are quirky, some are serious. And when you find that special fabric, you want to have the right block to showcase it. So grab your cardboard templates and find the right size for the print. You've seen these templates before in my 10 sewing hacks with templates. 
and playing with your fabric. And I'll leave a link to those videos in the notes below. Depending on the size, if you are a beginner, cutting the fabric into squares and rectangles and sewing them together is all you need to do. There's also the economy block, and I made a video on that in three different sizes. But you can also choose one of the star blocks and use the print in the middle. You might find that the print looks better on point. This means the edges are on the bias, and this is much more challenging. I advise that you use a lot of starch to stabilize the fabric and be very careful not to pull on the fabric when you sew and press. There are some easy cat and dog blocks out there that just use either the stitch and flip technique or HSTs. And you can use some raw edge applique from the previous step to add a little bit more detail if desired. You can make a whole quilt from the same block or incorporate it into another pattern. But you can also find more advanced blocks online with more personality like goats in pajamas, dog gone cute, and Bjorn bear. These blocks are more challenging and you will need some piecing skills to match up those points. And some of the pieces can be really tiny, which is also more challenging. So before you start, practice your foundational skills. That is accurate cutting, straight sewing, and a good ironing technique. Give yourself time to read the instructions thoroughly. And before you start, make sure that you measure that your quarter inch seam is accurate. English paper piecing is when you take a cardboard shape and wrap it with fabric. And you can tack the paper down with glue or thread. With this method, we are using our animal prints differently to make amazing patterns and secondary designs. You can do amazing work by repeating the identical piece. In certain prints, where the repeat is a reflection, you can use mirror symmetry to get a different result. From a distance, you may not even realize they are animal prints until you take a second look. And this can make a great eye spy quilt. This method takes time because all the pieces are hand sewn, but it also means that you can take this project on the road for all those times you wish you had something busy for your hands to do. See my video, Sewing on the Go. And I heard you, you want a detailed video of English paper piecing. It's coming soon. With foundation paper piecing, you are sewing fabric to a pattern. It involves stitching and flipping. The paper pattern provides the sewing lines because you need to be accurate. It can be a challenge cutting the right size fabric as the size that you need is often a mirror of what you think you need. The final result is also the mirror of the pattern. You also always iron your fabrics away from you. So you need to be aware of dark fabric showing through light ones. And it can also get quite thick where all the layers intersect. That said, you can make some fun designs of some very special animals. So where can you find all these patterns? Besides Googling it, take a look at Etsy. There are so many patterns for all the different breeds of dogs, cats, and some exotics. And I'll leave links to some of my favorites in the notes below. Last week, I had John of Art East Quilting Company on Karen's Quilt Circle. Not only does he teach pet portrait class, he has all these fun animal patterns. So check out the interview. The link is right here. Or this other interview down here might interest you. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>